The trial of a South Florida man accused of killing his girlfriend continued today, and so far no ruling on if he'll be able to show his penis to the jury like he requested. For more on the story, let's get to Local 10's Carlos Suarez, who's been following this from Fort Lauderdale. Carlos. The associate medical examiner of Broward County took to the stand about an hour ago and said that in all his years of work, he has never had a single case where someone choked to death as a result of performing oral sex. Now, his testimony goes to the heart of the defense's case that Richard Patterson did not kill his girlfriend back in 2015. Prosecutors allege that the 65-year-old choked her to death, but he claims that she choked on his penis. The Emmy told jurors a penis would have to be large far enough down a person's throat to block that person from breathing through their nose and mouth. He also said that it would take two to three minutes for a person to die as a result of a lack of oxygen so that it would have been clear that a person, this woman in particular, would have been in distress. And if she cannot breathe, she usually start to kicking, biting, or to do something to prevent this blocking of the airway, try to open this airway. It's normal reaction of the, any person. All right, now the defense has asked a judge whether Patterson can show jurors his penis as part of their case. She has not ruled on whether that will be allowed to take place. The medical examiner also told jurors that he could not rule on a matter of death because the body of 60-year-old Francisca Martinez was in such bad shape when it was found inside her Margate home. The medical examiner is still on the stand, and the defense says that uh, their client did not call 911 the night that he claims all of this happened because he was embarrassed about the whole thing. We are live outside the Broward County Courthouse in downtown Fort Lauderdale. I'm Carlos Suarez, local.